Hello friends, in this video uh, we will be discussing about uh, PSOD that is purple screen of death or even called as purple screen of diagnostics in VMware. So what is this exactly? So why you are discussing about this? So it is nothing but uh, whenever a ESXi box crashes due to some maybe a hardware issue or due to a uh, software issue or due to drivers issue so you will be seeing uh, a screen a blue screen uh, sorry a pink screen on your ESXi box console so this is called purple screen of death so it is nothing but uh, it is giving some information about the crash why the ESXi box got crashed and uh, uh, what is the re uh, behind, reason behind that and it will be providing some information about the uh, information with the details. So PSOD is nothing but uh, uh, it's something like a BSOD blue screen of death in Windows servers. So we call BSOD blue screen of death in Windows same same like uh, uh, it uh, we will be calling as purple screen of death or uh, purple screen of diagnostics in VMware so where we, we will see it and uh, what are the possibilities of having PSOD why they are occurred and uh, how can we prevent this uh, PSOD all we will be discussing in this video and uh, uh, by the way like uh, I will show you a uh, uh, demonstration of uh, PSOD generating a PSOD in my lab uh, at the end of this session but uh, like uh, yeah uh, this is like uh, uh, this is my blog where I written about uh, uh, I written article about PSOD in 2013 uh, sorry 2018 October 13th so I will just walk through you through this article and uh, even I will I will put this one in the in the description of this video so I will just um, like just walk you through this so generally what is this PSOD uh, is nothing but whenever a kernel de determines that uh, the uh, ESX is uh, uh, like operating system is uh, is not safe to continue in that scenario it will uh, like it will create this PSOD so to uh, like it, it's like whenever uh, a, a when it's in if you, you will be seeing like a, uh, ESXi box is uh, not responding and when you are trying to ping the ESXi box you will be taking a uh, request timeout so obviously you need to connect to your Dell DRAC or HP ILO or Cisco CMIC of your ESXi server like uh, uh, as ESXi bo box is and physical box so we definitely we need to connect to DRAC or HP uh, ILO and you need to see the uh, ESXi console where we will be seeing this screen so the PSOD screen shows the memory state of the time of the crash and uh, shows the details for troubleshooting the cause of the crash so looking at this screen like uh, it is very much difficult to identify what is this and uh, where is the uh, like uh, what caused the crash uh, like it's difficult to ident identify it and uh, I will just uh, uh, split the yes uh, this uh, screen and I will explain you so that next time you definitely uh, looking at the screen you will you will tell that this issue has happened because of uh, this error uh, this problem so so like uh, here this is what I am saying here like this uh, PSOD screen shows the memory state at the time of crash and shows details for the troubleshooting cause of the crash so it, this screen will have the ESXi version details and the exemption type, uh, register dump uh, and uh, backtrace and server uptime and error message as well as where the code dump is created and generated and saved. So, so like I will just split the split this one and I will explain you. So before that, uh, what what will cause this failure? What will cause this PSOD? I will discuss. So the most of the cases, the first thing is like uh, because of the hardware failures. For example, a uh, couple of uh, like we have four RAMs out of that one RAM got uh, failed or CPU is having problem. So it will put 
it will throw normally it will throw an error called mce so machine check exemption or nmi non mask maskable interrupt errors so what is this mce i mentioned it here and what is nmi it was mentioned here and even i provided the kb article vmware kb article here uh, where you can know more about these errors so if you are able to see mce or nmi in that uh, in the psod it means that it's related to memory or cpu and uh, the second uh, of like second reason for failure is like uh, software bugs so software bugs is nothing but uh, uh, esxi version is having some problem or it's having a bug in the in the version or uh, the psod is generated so at that time um, immediately vmware will release a next patch or next version of uh, 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 next version or even they will release the patches for the bugs uh, so you need to uh, you need to patch the servers uh, using the update manager so <clears throat> so examples of uh, generally what type of uh, software bugs will create uh, this uh, problem is like out of sources like memory heap buffer improper unsupported configuration parameters so the third level of uh, the third type of uh, issues occurred is like uh, because of the issue occurred is like uh, driver misbehaving so drivers are like uh, vendor drivers hardware vendor drivers so some of the times the driver incompatibility or even the driver is having any bug so in that scenario you, you may see the psod so at that time what you need to do is you need to download the latest drivers and update it so that you can fix peer psods so even i mentioned the kb article for this you can go through that so here it says like the impact of the virtual environment is when the psod occurs on esxi server the host crashes and the terminates all the services running on it and all virtual machines running on host will will not gracefully shut down if the host is part of ha or virtual machines will be migrated to another host so obviously it will be rebooted so whenever a psod occurs obviously uh, the vms on that uh, on the crashed esx box will be moved to another like migrated to another esx box and they will be rebooted but uh, when the crash occurs all the machines will go down uh, so they are not gracefully shut down sometimes that would cause a problems but uh, uh, even sometimes the, the ha sometimes if ha doesn't work the machines won't be migrated to other other esx box and in that time you need to uh, reboot the esx server and make the machines up and move it to another esx box and uh, you need to keep the machine in uh, maintenance mode till uh, the issue got resolved so uh, like uh, what has to be done when you see psod so when you see this pink screen what is that like uh, simply uh, you need to do like you need to understand the uh, issue and uh, you need to analyze the issue so uh, the, the screen like uh, the psod here is like this so i i splitted the line by line and then explained it below so i will just make you walk through to that the first line will have the product and build number where like you can see vmware esxi 6.5 release number and um, it's like a uh, x86 or 64 bits so it's default x86 64 so the second line is like uh, it will mentions about the error like mes message uh, the error message details which caused psod so the um, uh, above psod is having a hardware error because if you see that it says motherboard non maskable interrupt is undiagnosed so here it's a hardware problem clearly it's it's saying the error with the um, problem with the hardware so we need to contact the vendor or uh, uh, you need to update the latest drivers or firmware on your machine so next it says about the cpu registers uh, so we can see that four cpus here and uh, what are the physical cpu details here uh, so these are all like if you see this they're all mentioned one by one so this is line one line two line three and we are discussing about line four and five so after that this is the uptime uh, this line is for uptime so if you go down we can see that uh, so it says that ESI, esxi host boot up time so it, it 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 talks about the uptime so and the next is that the stack trace details uh, it is 
out of our scope to understand this thing but uh, uh, you can submit this to VMware and uh, they can tell you what exactly uh, the problem is or um, it, it's nothing but giving the stack details that's it so the last but not the least is the code dump uh, details when whenever uh, it crashes it will try to create a code dump after the reboot uh, so here like uh, you will say you are able to see that uh, the path where it is getting saved uh, like generally it will be uh, it will be like a <coughs> scratch uh, partition so uh, yeah like get the code dump when the server boots up we should collect the code dump so the code dump is like a zip file vmk kernel hyphen z dump it, uh, which contains the logs uh, and they are used for troubleshooting purpose uh, so depending on your configuration you may have the code dump in one or one of these forms like it will be on a scratch partition and uh, as a dot dump file on host data data stores and even on vcenter with a dot dump file so through the net dump services okay uh, so the <coughs> The code dump becomes uh, especially important in the configuration of host is to automatically reset your or uh, reset after a PSOD in which case in which uh, case you will get to see the message on screen. So uh, generally whatever I am saying is like uh, uh, like the code dump file will uh, we can collect the code dump file connecting the ESXi box using a WinSCP and uh, once you do collect it you can open it with a notepad and uh, you can see the logs open the logs and you can analyze it so uh, this is uh, about the psod but uh, what is that we can do to prevent this psod so the first thing is like uh, most of the software related to psod are fixed after patching so make sure all relevant patches for vcenter and esxi are applied up to date and uh, always suggest to apply on test environment before applying to production it's ob obviously we need to do that so without testing if you apply to production and uh, you, that still the patch is having problem then obviously production uh, will go down so second thing is like uh, updating drivers and firmware on your hardware server hardware so keep always uh, all drivers and firmware up to date so and also the third thing is like uh, before you install esxi on a hardware physical hardware uh, server make sure that that hardware is compatible uh, with the version of ESXi you are installing so for that you can visit the VMware site and uh, you can check it there so and uh, not only that before a PSOD happen you need to take care of few things like uh, configuring dump locations for the troubleshooting because uh, if dump is not configured then then the thing happens is like uh, the dump is not created and we you know, cannot get the dump files uh, to for analysis and also make sure to configure properly ILO DRAC or IM of the hardware so that when a crash is happened uh, it, the scenario should not be like you are unable to connect to that because of the misconfiguration of ILO or DRAC so make sure uh, always all your ES ESXi boxes are available on IRAC where you are able to connect the servers using the ILO or DRAC so the last one is like uh, uh, make sure to configure ESXi box to restart after PSOD. Sometimes what happens is uh, though the PSOD happens, uh, it will stuck up there itself. So and uh, the machines on the ESXi box sometimes una may they are not uh, migrated to another server and they stuck up on the same server. In that scenario, they will be down till you make the up server up. So if you set it to restart after PSOD, uh, the machines will be up or they will be moved to other machine. Uh, when the ESX is up so you know, this is what like and uh, after PSD what can we do to fix so if it is related to hardware or uh, simply remove the RAM which is bad or HBS or NIX just removing the hardware uh, will fix the issue and you can reinstall the good uh, the, uh, the one which is good so and second thing is like raise a support with VMware raise a case with VMware if you have a support and uh, submit the code dumps for analysis so that they can they can give you an RCA for that and always uh, patch your ESXi boxes up to date so that PSOD bugs are not uh, PSOD is not occurred uh, so and like as I said I will be demonstrating how to 
like generate a ps sodi on your server but this is not recommended on production servers so don't do it on production if you want to see the ps sodi you can do it on your lab and lab servers or your uh, test servers but don't do it on production so i will just run this command on uh, uh, on the on the shell so that we can see the psod so this is a screen where uh, like uh, we can see the psod focus so i will just run this and see so here after running that command uh, we are able to see the vmware version that is 6.7 and this is the release date and uh, early, uh, build number and uh, the second line is like i told in that previous psod we are able to see that uh, it's related to motherboard that is hardware but here uh, it says that crash me crash me is the command uh, so it clearly says that uh, it is something uh, we done it artificially so which we uh, we forcefully created this and the third line is for uh, cpu uh, cpu details fourth and fifth also for cpu details and uh, fifth line is is the uptime details so this server was started 38 minutes back so and uh, the we are discussing the stack details over here and last is the code dump to disk where like uh, it mentioned that uh, uh, like path device path and it is created once you press escape so we will be going to the uh, vmk dbg path uh, prompt so we can see a lot of a uh, lot of list of uh, uh, like commands so we are uh, not going into this but uh, obviously we will reboot the ESXA box and uh, we will close this video so I will just restart it as it's, a, it's not a production so so yeah that's all for this video and uh, uh, you can just go through this blog if you want to if you want to go through it I will just put that in this my, in my video also so yeah thanks for watching and i believe this is informatic for you bye bye